Well, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to do a little project. This is a little bit different. Most all the projects we've done in the past have all been uh, some type of leaded glass. This one here, we're going to use uh, uh, a lot of different colored pieces of glass here. I just have some cut here late. They're all going to be straight cuts. And what we're going to do, we're going to make a wind chime. And the wind chime uh, will just be all made of uh, different size squares. And we're going to put them on point. So I've got a little drawing here like we've done on some of the other projects. So this kind of shows you what we're going to do here. This, uh, this wind chime is going to start with, uh, it's going to have four stringers of, of glass coming down. And we're going to have three on the outside, one on the inside. Uh, so the numbers, if you're interested in, we're going to start off with an inch and a quarter, an inch and three quarter. We're going to do here in the middle, we're going to do another inch and a quarter, a two and a half, an inch and a quarter inch and three quarter and we're going to finish up with an inch and a quarter and then on the other side the one that goes in the middle we're going to put the centerpiece it'll be exactly the same as this one except the centerpiece instead of two and a half is going to be three inches so uh this will be a fun project to do i'm going to put the, the glass in a kiln and i'm going to fire the edges so that they'll go smooth uh, if you don't have that capability uh, just take and put it on a grinder and knock off any sharp edges or you can use a regular stone and, and, and knock off any edges or even a heavy grit sandpaper uh, to use this. So uh, nothing really special to use it. So we're gonna cut these all up with just a regular uh, set of rulers like we did before. This one's an inch and a quarter. Here again, we've got the one inch one. We've got our aluminum angle here, half inch here three quarter here so all these little uh rulers we're just going to use to cut these all up with and then after we get them cut up well we need some way to put them all together or to hang them and I'll, I'll show you what we're going to do i'll draw just a really quick picture here we're going to make a triangle and we're going to the triangle is going to be like this and what we're going to do here right here we're going to put an area to mount our chains we're going to have three chains on it they'll go up here and then also in the same corner here, we're gonna make a loop. So if you can look at it from the side, it's gonna go like this. And it's gonna have a loop down here like this. And then it'll go off like this. And this is where we're gonna hang our stringers as they come down. And in the middle, we'll have another loop. So there'll be, there'll be a, a, a loop hanging here in the middle. So this looks a little, little difficult right now when we get to uh, ready to do it on our, on our uh, project i'll have it all laid out so it'll be easy to follow uh, this little triangle is going to be made out of uh, number 12 copper gauge wire just a straight wire you can buy it at the hardware store and uh, so it should make a nice little project everybody can everybody can make this one if you're not into cutting glass uh, maybe some of the glass stores that you check around or check online you can find some cut squares already cut and uh, you all you have to do is drill a hole in them I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to do that with a diamond tip drill with a, in a Dremel tool. Uh, you, drill, you drill them underwater. So uh, that's another little step that we're going to do. So I hope you'll follow along in this one. This is, a, like I said, it's going to deviate away from uh, what we've done in the past. But it'll be a, a fun project, and everybody can, everybody can do this one. So uh, we'll be back in a little while. We'll get started. All right, well, here are all our pieces to our wind chimes now. So as you can see, they're just all squares. Uh, they've all been cut using, uh, you know, all kinds of rulers uh, that we've used for other projects. So they're, they're in the kiln right now. They've already been fired. This has been a, what they call a polished fire. It just uh, doesn't change the dimensions or the sizes of them. It just smooths out the edges and uh, turns the edges kind of a, a kind of a rounded, smooth area. Uh, this is done at about uh, 1375, 1380 degrees to do that. So from here now, we'll take and uh, we'll pull them all out. We'll put them in order how we want to build our stringers for our wind chimes. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll get out our Dremel and we'll drill the holes for them and we'll get ready to put it together. So it's come together pretty quick. And like I said before, you don't need to have this kiln. Uh, if you don't, uh, you don't, you can always just take and hit the edges of it real lightly on a grinder, or you can use a regular stone to uh, knock any sharp edges off your glass. So uh, it's not necessary that you do this, but uh, 
uh, because everybody doesn't have uh, uh, capabilities to have a kiln. So we'll be back in the next little video. Okay, so I've got all my project laid out here now. So this is how we're going to do it. This will be the stringers. I'm going to pan down here and show you how it's going to work out. Uh, there's going to be seven squares on each uh, stringer. The one that goes in the middle of the project has the uh, larger yellow square in it. So the next step we'll do is we'll come back and we'll drill the holes in all of these. Uh, we'll drill two holes in all of them except for the very, very bottom one. This one runs down here. And we'll just drill one hole right at the top of each of the bottom ones. So that'll finish off our project. So next time we come back, we'll have uh, some uh, pans set out. We drill this under the underwater so uh, it makes it easier. We use a diamond uh, uh, drill and a Dremel tool. So I'll show you how we do that. All right, we're back. We're getting ready to set up and get ready to drill. If you notice here, I've taken a magic marker and I've marked kind of a rough spot here where we're going to drill our holes. Uh, this is just kind of it with the eyeball. I just want to give me an area where I can put my finger down when I get ready to drill it. And so to drill it, we need a... I just use a pie pan, put a piece of scrap glass in the bottom of it. And so I've got several pans here along with a jug of water. And uh, these are the uh, drills right here. Uh, I like these. They have, a, they have a little crown on the top of them. They look like this. Let's see if I can get it in here so we can kind of focus on it. Uh, they drill very nice. Uh, the drills are kind of all over the place as far as longevity goes. I've had some where 30 or 40 holes will drill fine. Uh, I have some where just a few holes will drill and then they kind of go dull. So I'll show you how to use these. They're, you put the uh, glass underwater. And so uh, when we come back, uh, uh, I'll get my helper out here to hold the camera and we'll take and we'll start to drill a few holes in here. Uh, obviously, I won't drill them all while we're on uh, the uh, video, but I'll show you how we do it and give you an idea uh, if you decide you want to try to make this one here. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, well, we're back. So we're ready to drill some holes now. So I've got my pie pan here. I've got a little piece of old junk glass here. So we'll take our first piece and I took it. I marked it with a magic marker just to show us where we're going to put that. We're going to take some water and we're going to take and we're going to put it in our pan. And we're going to go just a little bit above the level of our project right here. Now we're going to take our Dremel tool with our drill in it. We're going to put it on high speed. And we're going to take our finger, kind of hold it right where we want to put our mark right here. And we're going to take our drill on about a 45 degree angle. We're going to set it in here. We're going to start the drill and then we're going to bring it up to a 90 degree angle. There's your hole, right like that. So here again, set it under the water. Bring your finger up to where you kind of want it. Nice, about a 45 degree angle. Do it again. 45 degree angle. Bring it up to 90 degree angle. So the reason I have a whole handful of pans here is that as you can see, as we grind these out, the water starts to get dirty. And after about four or five uh, or uh, pieces of glass, you need to dump this out. But rather than keep running and dumping it out, I bring another pie pan over and set it in here and start over. So anyway, that's how we're going to do this. So we'll do all of these and then we'll put our split rings in here and we'll tie these all together. So uh, we'll be back after we get these all done. We've got a 52 holes to drill. So that's going to take us a little bit of a, a little bit of time. So that's how it's done. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. We got everybody all drilled now. So now we're going to put this all together and we're going to use these small uh, split rings 
This one here is about a, a half an inch across here. We have a little tiny one, which is like a quarter of an inch across. And the way to put these on, you just take a pair of long nose pliers and you take and you squeeze in between here to open that up. Then you take your glass and you've taken, you stick it through the hole that you just drilled, roll it up a little bit. And we're going to put one of these little tiny ones on there. And then you're going to take and you're going to roll this right around. Just like that. And this becomes our first hanger here. <clears throat> Excuse me. These little ones here are set in here so that these will all hang straight down. If you don't put those in there, they'll all hang sideways and you won't get a real good view of, uh, of our project. So that's the first one to do. Then we'll take our second one here. Here again, take your long nose pliers, spread it apart, insert it, put your little, little one on here, roll your split ring around, just like that. And then down on the other side here, since we're that, well, that, the first one we did was the, is the bottom of it, which we only drilled one hole in. This one here now is in the second one up, so we've got two holes in it. So now, here's how we're going to string it together. Take this and you stick it in here. But before, before you go any further than this right here, take this one here that you just did, and you take this little, the little ring right here, and you stick it in there. And then you just shake and roll it all up. And now you've got, now you've got these two are hooked together. So we'll do one more and then I'll go offline and do the rest of them. Okay, so we've got them. Here's the next one. We've got our little ring right here. So we're going to take our blue one here. Pull this apart. Take our blue one here. We just put it in the hole here. Pull it up. Put our small ring on here, roll it around, Again, stick it in here, insert it in your hole, come back to this one here with our little ring here, see if I can get this in here so we can show it right here, here's our little ring, we're going to insert it right here. Going to rotate it on around. Now we've created a stringer of three. And we'll just go on out, out till we build it out. When we get out to the last one, we'll uh, put that onto our uh, little uh, triangle hanger that we made. And uh, we'll be uh, ready to hang it up and the project will be done. So this is a real short one. So I'll go ahead and uh, thread up the rest of these. I'll get this rest of this one threaded up and I'll come back and show it to you. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So we'll be back in a second. All right, we're back again real quick. So we got our first stringer all done here now. So they're all they're all hooked together here to create our first set of wind chimes. This will be the one of the out, goes on the outside. On the top one here, you notice we don't have the little tiny one on in here anymore because this one's going to be the one that goes around our uh, our triangle that we hang these on. So anyway, I'll uh, go offline again. I'll get to all the rest of these all strung together. And then when we come back, uh, we'll show you how to put them onto the triangle and we'll put our chain on the triangle and uh, we'll be done. So we'll be back. All right, we're all back together now. We got the uh, four stringers all done. We've got the three with the green squares in the middle. Those will go around the outside edges. Uh, the one with the yellow square in it, that'll go right in the center. So uh, uh, we'll get this all put together. We'll come back. We'll show you how we're going to hang them onto our triangle. And uh, then there'll be a project to be done. We'll go ahead and get it set up and uh, take some pictures of it. And hope you'll follow along and try this one. All right. Well, we got our four stringers all put together now for our wind chime. So we need some way to tie it all together so we can hang these. And I've designed a little system right here. I'll show you how we're going to make this. It's uh, basically on a 60 degree angle, similar to how we made some of the solar lights. And uh, we're going to use a, uh, 
a number 12 copper wire. You can buy this at the hardware store. You can buy it stripped. It doesn't have to have any installation on it. Uh, it comes in a big, uh, big roll. You can buy it by the foot. I usually buy about 35 feet of it. And when you get it, it's kind of curled up. Just take a section, maybe six feet long, uh, stick it in a vise or in your uh, came stretcher and take a pair of pliers and just yank on it a couple of times and it'll straighten right out. So these pieces here are three inches long and I've marked a center for it right here. And I'm going to take a small screwdriver here and I'm going to put it right in the center here. And I'm going to take these and bend them down. This is kind of a free, free floating idea here. Uh, it's not quite enough. We're going to set them on top of this little drawing right here, just like that. We want them to come down. After you get your first piece on here, get it lined up. Take one of your push pins and put it right here so it doesn't move. I've got a little socket wrench right here. It's 5 16 I'm going to take it and push it down here. To hold that right in place, right like that. Make sure it's down tight. Okay, and then we're going to take and we're going to put one right here. And we're going to put one right here. Just to hold those. Now we're going to do that again. Here in the three inches. Take and bend it over. Okay, that's not near enough. Once you get this first bend here, you can just take it with your fingers and move it down. Line it up here on the line here. Went a little too far, just bring it back. Okay, that's what we want right there. Put it on our line. Here again, we're going to take a pin right here on the back side. Hold it where we want it. Take your pin. Push it down tight. Make sure it's straight where you want it. If you have one that's lifting up like that, just take one of these pins here. Stick it in here and push it all the way down to hold it down against your board. Just like that. That'll hold it nice and tight. If you get out of your line right here a little bit, don't worry. Uh, it's going to be all right. We're going to be okay. Then we're going to take the next one here. And we're going to take here, line it up on our little three-inch mark here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to bend it. And we're going to see if we can fit it right in there. And that looks pretty good. A little bit more. Line it up here just like that. This little bend right here is too big. We need it to be we need it to be tighter than that. So um, we're going to pull it apart here and see if we can't pull it down a little bit tighter. More like that. And then we'll take and pull it back out. And here again, we're going to keep lining it up. We've got to go more further than that. All right, that looks like that'll work right there. Okay, so now uh, on your on your lead dikes, I'm using an older pair because I don't want to use my real good ones. But if you cut the if you cut the if you look here real close, if you cut the wire with just a regular pair of wire cutters, it pinches it together. But if you use your an old pair of your lead dikes, it will cut it straight. So I'm going to just trim this edge off. I want these to all be straight. And I'm going to set this in here just like this. Line it up where I want it, right here. I'm going to put my pin right here on the inside, push it down, push it down tight with my socket wrench. Line it up on my line here. Here again. Put another pin in here, push it down, make these down tight. And now in these open areas here, we're going to take a little piece, here again, a little piece of wire here. 
we're going to take our dikes we're going to cut it straight and we're going to take and we're going to fill this area in right here this one here is down just a little bit pull this one down to match it there we go this just takes a little messing around with this isn't super critical but you do want it to line up okay so when this lines up we're going to take a felt tip pin here and we're just going to sit in here we're going to fill this up here just mark it right there take your dikes here again and we're going to we're going to want to use the flat side of our dikes so we get a nice flat edge We're going to fill this in here. That's just a little bit too long. So I'm just going to trim it just a little bit. You want it to fit in here fairly snug, just like that. Okay. Now you can put a pin in here to hold it, or if you've got it cut nice and snug like that, it'll stay by itself. And when we solder it, We'll put just a little bit of solder on both sides of this, and then we'll go back and we'll fill in these two here. So I'll go offline, fill these two in, and when I come back, we'll solder this up, and I'll show you what we're going to do with it next. All right, before, before I cut these two pieces in here, I wanted to show you right here what we're going to do. We're going to take our, our soldering iron, and we're going to solder those two little connections together, to, or join that together. By the way, when you're working with this copper wire, it gets hot super, super fast. So use a little piece of your form wood if you're going to try to hold something down. I think we'll be able to just take and flux this. Flux this right here and right here. And we're just going to put the teeniest bit of solder we can on here because we want to leave this side open here that clean. So here we go. We're going to just take and put just a teeny bit of solder right here. Just like that, just a little bit. We're going to hold it right on the joint right here. Here we go. I still got enough on there for this one. Just like that. We just want to tack it just a little bit. Now I'll go offline. I'll fill these two in. Come back. I'll show you a couple more solder joints. And then we'll show you what we're going to do with this. So this is just this is forming our inner circle for our hanger. Okay, I got these other two pieces in here right now. So I'll show you a couple more little tricks here. Uh, this one here to fit nice and tight. I want to kind of treat this line as straight as possible. We can straighten it out a little bit once we get it together here. So we're going to flux this right here and right there. Here again, we're going to take our iron. And we're just going to put just a little bit of solder on it, and we're going to solder this joint right here. There we go. Okay. Now, if you have one like this one here, which seems to be just a little bit too loose, take your piece of form wood here and stick it in here like this. Just put a couple pins in it here to hold it real, just to hold it square. Then take your flux, flux it up on both sides. And then take your iron and just take a little solder that in right here. Right there. There we go. Okay, so that gives us the start for our project. Now, this is the perimeter for our hanger. So we're gonna we'll hang one string here, one string here, one string here. And I'll put one right in the middle for the center string. That'll be the one with the larger piece of glass in it. 
So now around the outside edge here, we need to put some kind of a thing for it to hang. We could, we could just, you know, hook it on the ends here, but um, I don't like the way that looks. So I'll show you what we're going to do. And this is kind of a little interesting thing uh, I came up with. So hang on a second. I'll get it set up here and I'll bring it back here and we'll show you what we're going to do with it. Okay, so I'm back. Um, if you followed any of my videos, you'll notice I like to do lots of little jigs and things like that to do something. This is just a little block of wood. It's got uh, some little straight pieces of steel screwed down to it. It's about uh, five sixteenths of an inch high. And what I'm going to do with that, I'll get it in the camera here. I'm going to set it right here. And then I'm going to take my, here again, these are three inch pieces. They're marked an inch and a half. I'm going to set this right in here like this on there. And then I have a big screwdriver, really a big screwdriver. And I'm going to set that screwdriver right on the three and a half inch mark. And I'm going to take it like this. And I'm going to push this down in there so it looks like this. And that's going to form our little lip for our string to hang on. It looks like this now. So I'm just going to do three of those. Here again. You know, that's probably, probably hard to see because of the, I'm in the way here. But this will make them all uniform. Here again, pick it up. And we'll do the last one right here. Very good. Okay, now I want these to be bent on a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to use a pair of pliers here. Looks like this have flat nose on them. And I'm going to take and I'm going to measure up here. Either a quarter inch or five sixteenths. I usually do about five sixteenths. So I'll get it down here. I don't know if you, is this going to be in the, in the area? Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to take my ruler just like this. And I'm just going to set this on here. Actually, I'll do three eighths. That's a good, that's a good. And I'm going to take my at three eighths of an inch. I'm going to take my pen. I'm going to mark here, here and here. We'll go to three eighths again, here and here. All right, now I'm going to take these flat those pliers. I'm going to go right up to my 3 8 inch mark. And I'm going to take this on the edge of my work table right here, and I'm going to bend it over to a 90 degree. And we're going to create this right here. So that's what we want. So I'll bend all three of these. Just bend it up to 90 degree. We can readjust these after we get them on our project, but right now this is what we're doing. And what we'll do with these is I'll show you right here. We're going to come back up to here, to the top here. Pull these pins out. We're going to take one of these we're physically going to spread it apart here like this. Spread it apart. It'll be more than that. Okay, we want to go just a little bit more. We want it to follow the legs down here just like that. See how this is creating a, a hanger here now? We're actually building this upside down. When we get ready to use this, these little guys will be facing down, and this is where we'll put our split rings that'll hold our stringers for our for our uh, project. After you got one that fits nice, tight all the way around here, take a pin, use your socket wrench or your fingers, push it down, push it down tight. Like that. And then take your flux right here. Make sure this is down flush. Take your flux 
put it on the soldering iron. And here again, like I say, this will flow real, real fast. So just push, hold, put it on there. Solder those two together. Just like that. Now you can solder those like I've done here. You can solder them solid like that. Or you can just use spot solder. I like to solder them together because I want them to stay uh, nice and strong. I don't want them to get, uh, get wiggly on me. Okay, we'll leave these two in here. So now we're going to come down here and we'll do the same thing down here. So let's do one more so you guys get the idea how this is going to go. Pull this pin out of here. So we're going to take this again. Now we're going to spread it out. So you don't want it to go like that. You want to be sure that it slides in there straight. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to take our pin here. We can actually do it back in this hole. Push that down tight. Push this back down tight. Just like that. We're going to take right here. We're going to flux it again. Make sure this is down tight here. Okay. Take our siren iron. Solder it. There you go. Just like that. Like all my videos, they run long anyway. So let's just go ahead and do this last side here so everybody can get an idea how this works. Hate to disappoint you guys and make one real short here. You wouldn't know what to do. All right, here, we'll spread this back out. After you make a few of these, uh, you'll get the hang of kind of just how much to do it. See, I get that one right there. See, now this one's too much. See it? See how you have some play in it here? So just bring it back together just a little bit. That would brought it back too far. That'll work. Take and push it down. Like that. Take and flex it again. Okay. So now we got the three hanging down here. That, that'll hold our stringers, but we have one to put in the middle here. And this one we won't put in yet because what we're going to do now, we're going to come back and we're going to fill in these to match each other here. So uh, what we're going to do here, right here, I'll take this out. We need a piece that runs from here to here. I'll go offline and do that. That one there didn't quite get soldered. I'll go offline and, uh, and put that in here. But you notice they're overlapping all the joints so that we don't have we don't have two joints lined up together. That gives us some strength in the project. So I'll go offline and cut these and solder them in. And when we come back in, we'll show you how we're going to put the one in the middle. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I got them all filled in here now. So see the pieces I ran across here. So what we'll do now is we'll solder those two there. So we're basically, we're doubling this up. So I'm going to flux it there, flux it there. I'm going to flux it actually all the way along here because I'm going to solder these two here first. If you think it's going to get away from you a little bit, just take a, your block of wood here and put it in here with a little pin. Uh, these want to all be down flat, which they are. So we're going to take and double this up right here. So here again, 10 your iron. Let it fill that in. Just like that. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back in here, right in the middle here, and I'm going to put a joint. Then I'm going to solder over those other two little joints to be sure that that's held in there tight. Just like that. One more little one right here. Just like that. Okay, this one here, we're going to do the same thing. Don't forget to flux it, otherwise it won't solder very good. Bring this down, just take and solder it right here. Okay, move this pin out of here. Sometimes they're a little hot, so be careful. Don't just go grabbing them. Okay, and I'm going to spill this in here just a little bit. This is kind of like doing copper foil. You kind of make a little bead across there like that. There you go. Now we'll come over on this other side and we'll do this last side here. Okay, see this one here is kind of wiggly. Here again. Take your little block of wood, stick it in here, put a pin in the end of it. Just to push it up there so it doesn't move away from our project. Put your siren iron down here. We're going to solder this up just like that. Come down here this other end here. Make sure this is down tight. If you have one, see that's kind of springy right there. If you have one like that, take and tin your iron. Take your stick. Don't do it with your finger because it's way too hot. Hold that down with your form wood and solder it. Just like that. Let make sure it's hardened before you raise up. Okay, pull these apart. Flex this in here. Come here, we're gonna fill this in. Just like that. Okay, now to get this one in here, we're going to use a piece of wire. It's about six inches long, and we're going to bend another loop on the end here like this. We're going to set it in here, and we're going to bring it off to the side here. And I'm going to put some little side pieces on it so we'll get some strength out of it. So I'll be back. I'll bend that up real quick. And I'll come back and show you how we're going to make it. And then, I'll, then I'll be back, and we'll get it bent up so it fits. Because that takes a little fooling around with to get it to fit just right. You want it to fit in there tight. But you, uh, but you don't want it to be uh, pulling apart. So I'll be back in a second here where I get, get that all cut. Bring our little jig in here again. Now this one, I, I cut this at uh, five and a half inches long, which is probably longer than we need. So I'm going to go right in the center here, two and a half. Put this in here. Take and create our loop. Now what I'll do with this loop is I'll do the same thing. I'm going to measure it down here three-eighths of an inch. And we'll bend up a, a tab on it. So I'll be back. I'll bend that real quick. Okay, so I'm back. Now I've created this guy here. Okay, so these legs are like two and a half inches long with our bend up in it right here. Actually, these are only about one and three quarter, I think. Let's see here. Now they're two inches. Yeah, both of these are two inches. So wait, where, where's this going to go? This is going to go right here. See the center might? This is the center for our project. That's going to go right here. And these legs right here, we're going to bend them back on a 90 degree to fit along the edge of this. And we're going to solder them to that. Uh, that'll give us some strength so, so that this won't drop down. And then we'll do one more thing after we get that on there. So I'll go offline and get this fitted. And uh, then when we come back, we'll solder it back on there. And we'll show you how it's going to work. Okay, so I got a little piece all made here. Here's our kick up for our, to hang our stringer on. And I've kicked these edges out here. So this is going to fit right here. We're going to solder these down here right here. I'm going to put this in here just like this. Like I said before, we can straighten that up a little bit if we need to. I want these to be flat like they are here. See, they're flat down there. I'm going to take a pin. 
And I'm going to take and pin this right there. Push it down. Come over here with the pin. Push it down. Then I'm going to take my flux right here. And we're going to take a little solder this right here. Just like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take another piece of wire. It's going to come down here. And it's going to intersect this middle. And it's going to go off to the side here. So uh, we'll be back in a minute. I'll cut that one. And we're going to use the same. A uh, little device we used before to, to crimp it, but it'll be fit, sitting in here like this. And it's going to come back and go across these, up under these legs right here to give us some strength. So we'll be back in one second and we'll get that done. Okay, so here's the new piece right here, this little guy right here. So I bent it down on the point and then I brought it up. And it's got these two little legs going back and it's going to go in here just like this. Set it down in there like that. That sit in there nice and tight, but we'll take and put a pin in it anyway, just in case. Get it down tight. Just like that. Here again, we'll take our flux and we'll flux that. That looks good. Now what we're going to do, we would pull, the, pull these pins out. Now they'll be warm, so, so be careful with them. What we're going to do here, now we're going to come right down in here. And we're going to take and we're going to tin our iron. Just like that. We're going to set it right here and just let it flow off. Just like that. Come over here on this side and do the same thing. There we go. So now this is our hanger for our wind chime. And you're going like, well, that's a bunch of wires soldered together. How does this work? I'll show you here. Get it up here. Let me wipe it off just a little bit my towel here and wipe this off so after we're soldering all these pieces together it becomes quite rigid so if you can visualize this it's going to hang like this upside down right here where this is at right here right here and right here this is where our chains are going to hook we'll have three chains on it and these hanging down here will be where our stringers hang down for our for our uh, wind chime. And then in the middle will be the middle one that hangs down. This is the one that has the bigger one in it. So I'll go over like there's a couple of joints right here that needs to be touched up. This one here is not quite soldered. I'll go over that real quick and uh, just kind of look at anything that I don't like. Uh, if I want to clean this up a little bit, I can take a little bit of sandpaper on it and clean it up. And then what I'll do, I'll wash it up real good. I'm going to spray it with a flat black uh, paint, and it'll be all done for us. So uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can make this yourself. Uh, or if you've got some other trick that you've got that you're going to use to, to hang your stringers, that's fine too. I've seen people make little wooden blocks and put some little uh, screw eyes in it, things like this. Uh, this is just something that I dreamed up, and it's worked for me. I've made probably a couple hundred of these things. So uh, uh, they're quite easy to do. And uh, they make a pretty attractive uh, uh, hanger for our wind chime. So we'll be back in a minute. Uh, we'll get this uh, get this finished up and cleaned up a little bit. And I'll get it spray painted. And we'll show you the finished product. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back. We've got it all cleaned up now. We've got it all painted with our flat black paint. So this is the top side of it here. Here's where our, our chains will go on these three corners. And then we turn it over. Here's our hooks 
our loops for our down parts, our stringers for our wind chime. So this part is all done. This is probably the most difficult and the hardest part to work on. The stringers are quite easy. We're just going to use regular glass cut in different sizes. They're all straight cuts. They're going to be like uh, one and a quarter, one and three quarter, uh, two and a half. And then we're going to stagger them on point. Uh, when I come back, uh, uh, we'll uh, go ahead and put them all on here and the project will be done. So anyway, I hope you follow along. This looks really complicated. If you just take your time and work with it, uh, you can make them bigger than this or smaller than this. I just picked this size uh, because I thought it uh, would work well with the stringers that we have. So uh, happy with the way that came out. And uh, that will certainly hold up in the weather so you don't have to worry about your strings falling on the ground. So we'll be back in a little while and we'll finish it up. Okay, well, we're back. we got a next little project here. We're going to put our chain on our hanger here. So uh, this is the same chain we've used on all the projects. This is the uh, number 16 jack chain. It's uh, uh, zinc plated. It's kind of an open loop chain. You just open one of the loops right here and uh, put it onto our project. It's got a number uh, 10 swivel right here. I'm sorry, number 10 a split ring right here. It's got a number six uh, swivel, and this is a, like a three quarter inch uh, split ring out top here. You could use any size you want. I like to, I've gone up to the three quarter inch because a lot of people like to hang these on shepherd hooks. And the smaller one I was using didn't quite fit on a shepherd hook, so the three quarter one does. So this guy here that we made, this is the one where we're, our stringers for our wind chime is going to hang down from here. So we're going to put the chain in from this side and we're just going to take this first one like this and it goes in this loop right here it goes in this first one we're just going to take our pair of long nose pliers and we're going to close that up so you get this effect right here okay so the next one here it's going to go here again it's going to go in here we're just going to take and we're going to take our long nose pliers, close our loop up. Try not to slip off like that because if you catch your fingers, it really hurts. And this last one here is going to go in here like this. So we got them all trapped in here now. So. When this is hung up, get them untangled here. When this is hung up, it's going to hang just like this. See if I can show it to you here like this. Get the kinks out of it right here. When you hang these, sometimes these get kinked. And when they get kinked like that, it makes your project hang crooked. So make sure you got them all out. So this is how our hanger is going to look here with our chains on it now. You can see they're nice, clean. We got the whole swivel set up here. So uh, the next step will be we'll take it out in the yard and we'll hang it up. We'll take a couple pictures of it and we'll get the project done. So I hope you followed along. This has been a pretty easy one. Just a matter of cutting glass. All the glass in it was cut by just uh, using a straight ruler of some kind. Uh, a one and a half inch, a one inch, a uh, two inch, and a three inch ruler. And then we just set them on the angles. And that gives us our, creates our uh, 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 pieces of glass for our project. Like I said, I fire I fired these in a kiln to get, them, get them, to get them smoothed on the edges. If you don't have a kiln, you can just take and put these on a grinder real lightly and just knock off any sharp edges so you don't have any edges on it so people could get cut on them. Or if you don't have a grinder, you can use a stone to, to grind on them and you just knock off any edges that you may have. Uh, it's not quite as pretty as this because it, it'll go kind of a frosty color, but uh, from a couple of feet away, nobody will notice uh, how whether it was ground off or whether it was been glass polished. So uh, it's not a big deal. So I'll get all the rest of these put together. And when we come back, we'll have a, a completed uh, wind chime. I'll show you how we're going to put the stringers onto them as the last step before we take it outside and hang it up. So we'll be back. Okay, we're back. So now we've got our hanger out here. Uh, got my son out here to give me a little hand to shoot this video. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our 
a little tool here on our split ring. We're going to split this wide right here. And then this down loop here, we're just going to take and insert this right like that. You can take your fingers and just roll it. I'll turn it sideways. Take your fingers and just roll it right around. Just like that. And then we got the middle one done. So we come out here to the edge here. We'll take the next one. Here again, we'll take a little tool. You can use a screwdriver. You can act, These split rings are quite soft. You can actually spread them with your fingernails if you wanted to. Open it up. Set it right in here. Like that. We're going to just take and roll it. And there we go. Then we'll come rotate it around. Take our next one. Spread it. Insert it into our loop that we made. As you can hear they're kind of banging around already, so they're already making some noise. And then we'll take the last one, do the same thing here. We'll go ahead and pull this around here. We'll take our split ring and to spread it. Insert it and roll it around. All right, well, we got our wind chime all hung outside. I have it on a mechanical spinner right now so everybody can get a good look at all the colors on it. So anyway, it came out very nice. I hope you guys have followed along. And like I said, if you don't have a kiln to fire the edges of the glass, just go ahead and put them on a grinder real lightly and touch the edges up or just use a stone to knock down any sharp edges. So I hope everybody's enjoyed the video and I hope everybody followed along. Everybody can do this one. Uh, you don't have to do any soldering. You don't have to put any lead on it. Uh, drilling the holes is not that difficult. If you have a Dremel tool, you can get all kinds of uh, diamond tip drill bits from uh, Amazon. So you can get those there. And uh, even if you don't even cut glass, you can probably find some squares at uh, different glass houses or online. And you could put together a spinner like this. You can make the triangle that we use to uh, hold it. And... Uh, you'll have a, a very attractive gift or something for your own personal backyard. So I hope you'll see me on the next video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If you have any comments, please uh, give them to me and I'll be glad to send you a reply. So until we see you on the next video, thank you for watching and have a great day.